Welcome back to another episode of Iman Rants with me, Iman. Today, I'm going to be talking about a show I've recently finished. been binge watching it for the past few days. And it's called Crash Landing on You. This is the first K-drama I've ever watched to the full extent of like finishing it. And there's only one season. So I'm going to do like a brief description before I get into the spoilers. So basically, a South Korean rich woman lands in North Korea by accident and a North Korean man is trying to help her get back to South Korea without everyone knowing, you know? And oh my god, when I tell you I have such an emotional attachment to this show, I really hope they do a season two, but I've seen things saying that they're not going to or that people want it or like fake news, but I need it. And the actors who play the main characters are dating in real life as well, which is just a whole nother level of just happiness to me. Like, they literal soulmates in real life. If you don't want spoilers, please do not watch this. So I did not plan out anything I'm going to say, so if I stumble on my words, sorry. I literally finished it and was like, okay, I have to do this off the top of my head because, you know, there's just so many emotions running through me. Like, you know that feeling? I don't know, I get such an emotional attachment to TV shows. So like, when I finish one that I've like put so much time and energy into, it's just like a part of me is gone and if season two doesn't come out what am i gonna do then like it's just it's a lot to process but okay so first main characters they were my favorites obviously like i think most people's favorites would probably be the main characters because they're the main characters but i know some people who would probably love like the side character couple because they were also like adorable like i'm so upset he died was like i genuinely thought they were gonna end up together and then he just dies like after all that he literally died for her and that was just amazing but the main characters they literally got shot about 10 times for each other and none of them died like what and that's thanks to the magic powers of main characters which you know i'm actually happy they didn't die because that would have been really annoying because now it gives potential for season two but the ending like where they can only see each other for two weeks a year i just hate that so much and like in the last episode the little the time jump from like to three years later because she waited for him for the first year and was like um listening not like reading the messages he sent like the pre-recorded or like preserved or whatever reserved i don't really know but then the second year she was trying she was like, like planning on how she was going to meet up with him like did the whole switzerland thing and she got her brother to like set up the whole in switzerland type thing to like like he, she kind of like played him to like make him do that so that she could like go there for two weeks a year and the first year he didn't show up and she couldn't find him then the second the no i'm getting the years mixed up you get what i mean then eventually they found each other and every year they would go see each other for two weeks just to be with each other but then she'd have to go back i don't know if he like stayed there i'm assuming he did because i think he does piano now but she actually has like a whole business to run i don't understand like i get that she has a business to run but could she not move to switzerland to be with him is that not allowed and like two weeks every year that is just a bit like i need more than that they need to get married they need to have kids i need to see this happen on a screen so that i can be content knowing that they're happy but i don't know like they literally see each other for two weeks a year one of them could move on one of them could be sick of it and just be like it's over and i wouldn't know because they're not continuing the bloody series well they might i don't really know but <laughs> So that's my opinion on the last thing some people might actually enjoy the last scene because that's kind of like the circumstances that we're in now but like the whole point of tv shows is fiction so just mix everything up and create fiction so that it unifies we get to see them be happy together married whatever i don't care i just want them to be happy so that i can be happy so yeah also her brother trying to kill her for the bloody company like that's a bit much i feel like and the sister-in-law both of them annoyed me to a whole new extent because one of them was just such a bitch just like 
you know like that mood one of them was too hyper and so fake they were literal opposites of each other but they were both fake in their own ways and she tried to take over Siri's company and I was like no sit down she's gonna come back and end you like know your place okay sit the hell down and like the brother trying to kill her I'm so happy that they, he like went to jail and stuff because like obviously he deserved it but like the dad finding out and everything and him getting the company taken away thank god and because he was responsible for your one's death so that they didn't get to be end game <sighs> too much and like do you know the girl who she said um the mother was like called a fortune teller and was like oh so she's not gonna get married at all but she's gonna be successful i was like okay i can stand by that because I feel like if she got her heart broken that much, then like, I feel like she would be the type of person to not want to open it up again, but she would do like all this stuff, like continue her little business, be successful and stuff for him. And the fact that oh, there's just too much, like the main character, he doesn't know that the other guy died like for her, who was this guy's fiance, but he just got him to do so much favors and he just dies like i know it's not coming off like m people might not understand what like who i'm talking about but i'm not gonna try and pronounce their names because i'm gonna butcher them a hundred percent and i don't really want to do that because i love them too much <laughs> i am sorry this is like this is too much but <laughs> Okay, so if they do a season two, what I want to see is, I also miss the gang. I want to see more of like, you know, the gang in, you know, they went from North Korea and they went to Seoul. They went to South Korea to try and find your main guy, but then they ended up having an amazing time. The whole gang was there. They had so much fun together. I need more of like the whole gang scenes so that I could see them be happy again because they were literally the beans of the show. They're the blueprint for being beans. 100% loved them. They, that like, I did not hate any of the characters. They were all amazing. Like, I don't say that for many shows because Vampire Diaries did not like Elena. Teen Wolf. I was like iffy on Lydia, I'm not gonna lie, and Malia. Like, I loved Lydia, but I was just iffy on her at the start. But like, in this show, I liked everyone. Like, they were all amazing characters. So I really recommend this show. If you've gotten this far, I'm assuming that you've actually finished the show. So leave your opinions in the comments below. And I hope you enjoyed listening to me rant about this show that I've just finished. I know it's been a little iffy here and there because i don't know what i'm talking about but if you think i missed anything please comment it below thank you for watching